Okay. And it's streaming. Okay. Okay. You wave and say hi and stuff. Hi. I'll pop out the chat. It's 1 a.m. in Kentucky. Everybody, it's my wife, Mickey. You say hi. Hi. And then I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And then go here. Uh, here we go. Okay. 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 We're still setting up. Let me know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Hopefully. Look at all the people. See? Comment, comment, comment. Comment, comment, comment. Comment, comment, comment. There's Print 3D Channel. So we're using... I'm going to show them on the camera. We're using a stream deck. So here's camera one. Here's camera two. <laughs> camera one. Camera two. Camera one. Camera two. Camera one. Okay. Do I get to be in charge of that? Well, you, you can if you want. So the idea being, so this camera right there... If we need to get up close to something on the CRX printer, up then we can personal. we can kind of aim it at it, and then we can hit that button and switch the view over to that camera. Okay. Ooh, hi, everybody. Uh, uh, Gianni Giavelli. Angus said the CRX sucked. He didn't say that, but he said it needed some improvements. Hey, Disturbed Medic, look at that. As a sponsor, that's pretty exciting. Uh, it should pick a, let's see. Oh, I have to do, dang it, I have to do all sorts. Let's see. Small out of focus on camera one. Yes, there we go. Disturbed Uh Is that I have a to start, zombie? that's a running zombie. I have to start the night bot. Was this all supposed to stuff? Stuff you were supposed to do there beforehand? We go. No, no, no. I have to do this when we when it starts the stream. It's gonna be a little bit fuzzy because that's a Logitech C920 and it's a kind of crappy. I'm really sorry. Uh Am Amando, are you taller than average or is your wife shorter than normal? I'm five five. I'm six foot one. Uh let's see. And over here you're going to see I set up Streamlabs. So it's going to show you the last four events, and it looks like Disturbed Medic, Matthew Newman, and Dalton Fair have now become sponsors of the channel through YouTube. That's awfully kind of them. Geek of Chaos, with a $50 donation before the stream even started, I'll use some of that money to, uh, we'll go out to dinner with that. Sweet. What's oh. sponsor versus donation? Uh, a YouTube sponsor, uh, and Richard Moulton becomes a sponsor. So on YouTube, a sponsor is someone that pledges $4.99 a month, and okay, then I give like them it. access to after the five. Okay. So they can either do that via Patreon, they can do that via the, the YouTube sponsorship, or they can do that via my website and a PayPal subscription. Okay. It's, it's a thing. And see, this, this person... Uh, Uchel, 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 Carlson with 99 cents. 99 cents. Yeah. Well, uh, we should probably get this thing opened up. Yeah. Okay, we're going to open it up. It's the, C it's the CRX. Yeah. So we've got, this is a, a knife that uh, a fan sent in for Fan Mail Friday. I'm not in charge of, uh... You can do it. It's yeah. Fine. Well, knives and me don't work very well. Okay. Don't don't bleed. Don't cut away from the eyes. Justin Schubert became a sponsor. Thank you very much. Uh, Nightbot is going to spam the the comments with links every so often, and uh, uh, the YouTube sponsorships are cool, but uh, super chat. So I I just want to let you know if anybody wants to give a super chat, that's incredibly kind of you. Uh, the split on Super Chats is uh, YouTube takes 30% of that and, and the channel here receives 70%. There's no garbage in there, so we're going to have to That's okay. fix that later. Uh, that on uh, Patreon, um, Patreon takes 10.5% and I get the rest. Um, I don't know what the, other, what the other breakdowns are, but sponsorships are cool. I like that people are able to do that. 
The five is pretty cool. What? The active five is pretty cool. The five is pretty so. cool. Okay, while you're opening that, uh, Futch says, good day from Australia. Good day. Marco Plone says it's $7.99 on their website. Yes, the CRX, you're going to hurt yourself. I know. That's why I told you I shouldn't be well, in then, charge of the knife. Do you want me to do it? Yes. Okay. So then I'll you need to read it. the, you need to, Trevor Lynch with $1. No, you can read, the, I can do this if you want to then keep up with the comments. Okay. You to, are, okay. Are you, I'm, I'm trying. I'm okay. trying. I'm still getting the hang of this. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kobe. Um, what did Kobe do? He told me I was beautiful. Oh, that's um, nice of you, Kobe. Wait, was it you or to me? Well, he said, well, to you. <laughs> he said to you that your wife is beautiful. Oh, so. I completely agree. So, um, thank you. Can I scroll down? How do I scroll down? Uh, is touch not touch No, it's, it's, okay. this isn't cool. You can put the, the mouse could, that you couldn't say, over Carlson. Here. Yeah. Uh, Donated four ninety nine. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you for the four ninety nine. See, so I'm really slow. You can do you. you can do stuff like that, and okay. you don't have to read them all. You just need to. I'm working on. Make it. sure if like if someone says, "Hey, the audio isn't working," then generally like fifty people will say the audio isn't working. Okay. That's how it works. Um. Yes, Joel is very beautiful. I am. That was from Elusive. That's um, true. Okay, boss. Yeah. That obviously, he's there. the tech one of the family. I am very the tech one of the family. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I gotta do. In our so. case, opposites did attract. I'm just gonna do that. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna you do guys went away for a little bit. It's okay. It's good. You're coming back. They're coming back. Just the comments. You you guys are still there. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. What? I thought we were frozen. We were just standing still. Oh. There we go. Bam. Bam. Uh, we can make the words bigger if you want to make the words bigger. Are you calling me blind? Nope. Nope, just, just can't it read. It usually makes it easier. Okay. So here, uh, while, while you're catching up, I do want to say Creality has included uh, a roll of red, of red PLA, and a roll of yellow PLA. Uh, these are vacuum sealed. Yeah, gives them safe. So... I can do that with my finger too. Uh, thank you, Lightspeed199. And he said, better set up a CRX profile. Angus had an issue. Better set up a CRX profile. Angus had an uh, profile. I don't know what you mean. I mean, Angus, um, he only did the demo print, as far as I, I could tell. It's a nice filament. It is. I like the color. Oh, that's, a, that's a very yellow, yellow. This. Great start to the morning. It's great start to the morning, absolutely. Yes. Great way to go tonight, too. Ooh, can you go camera two? Look at that. Look at those filaments right there. Those are in focus, even. So this is the red PLA, and this is the yellow PLA. Um, I don't know what brand it is from Creality, but it looks to be... Um, it has a batch number. My hope. I mean, look at that. Look at the design on the side of that spool. It's a pretty design. Okay. Can you go camera one, please? I can. Wow. Look at New that. shelves look great. From Thank you very much. TLA Mont 941. What's that? I agree. We've been deciding what to do with those or the walls for a long time. The walls? Yes, the walls. Hey, look at look at this in the in the Creality documentation. It actually specifies a red and a yellow PLA. So I wonder if that's that's the official stuff. To be the chief evangelist, CRX 3D printer guidebook to make top quality 3D printer. Um, this guidebook is for standard CRX. Because of software or hardware upgrades and model differences, new revisions may not be listed in this guide. Please plug the power cord into a three-hole power jack. Detailed instructions are available on the SD card. It's good to know. And right behind me here is uh, I have an outlet strip right along the side of the desk. Question come bench. in from what? Slavis Slavis. Shouldn't you have already used, or shouldn't you have used the open rolls instead? Ah, that's a really good question. And thanks for the two bucks. And Lightspeed, thanks for buck ninety nine. Ooh, thanks Lightspeed. Uh, that's a really good question because I do have a lot of open spools, uh, but in order to unbox and properly set up a printer from the factory, I want to use the material that they provide with the printer because that just seems to be proper 
And then once we verify that it prints using its material, then I'll go choose a couple different colors and try to print something. My goal, my goal is to print the um, uh, the Matter Hackers Phil, the little astronaut Phil guy. They have a dual color version of that, and I want to try to print that. And if it can print with this, then it should be able to print with some of the filament that's over there. The light speed said Angus couldn't slice a model, so he did the tester. He couldn't slice a model. Oh, I didn't know that. The model. The or, mo sorry, a model. The model. A model. A model. A skewed view. 3D, 20 bucks. Not sure if we'll have time. Wow, $20. Thank you so much. I've unearthed a cardboard box from the cardboard box. And I'll slowly drag the knife right across the tape line. Skewed view 3D. I hope you do have time to put in a your um, design for the challenge. Who, you? No, a skewed view... A skewed view 3D, not me. Oh, yeah, I hope they, they do as well. They're, I'm currently running a design challenge for filament spool holders for the filament shelves, and uh, we've had over 150 entries so far, which is fantastic. Wow. And the whole point of that contest was to initially make it not so difficult because I wanted everybody to feel like they had a chance, and I wanted to give everybody plenty of time to do it. So that's why it's a month-long and it's a spool holder that adapts to something. Um, I, I There's going to be more extensive and more complex design challenges in the future. But for now, I mean, let's we just started simple. Could you give me camera two, please? Yeah. Here's the box. Here's the box. And in this box, we've got uh, two PTFE Bowden tubes. We have a package of things that includes uh, some nuts, some bolts, an SD card, um, a guarantee, a US power cord, some tools to put everything together, a pancake flipper that's, I don't think it's sharpened. Well, actually, it's kind of sharp. That is a sharp pancake flipper. And then two spool holders. Could you go camera one, please? For those who are asking, yes, I am his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Whoa. So right now, I have to assemble the spool holders. And everything comes in these nice, neat, packaged things. Cool. Any other comments? Are you are anything um, else cool coming um, down? There's a lot of what do you recommend and <laughs> stuff like that. I recommend um, everybody eat waffles and everybody get the right amount of sleep. I don't know That's we didn't have recommend. waffles tonight. We had French toast. Waffles, 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 waffles. Um, glad you didn't go to bed, Robbie. Mock you? Robbie M-A-Q? Robbie M-A-Q? Yeah, he was uh, going to go to bed, but he noticed the stream. No, don't go to bed. Well, Why he did. He's staying up. Okay, good. Why, why so good. late? Why? Well, it's late, uh, Scott Lawrence. It's late where you are, but it's not late everywhere else. It's 10 p.m. here. Our kids are still up. <laughs> Summer In fact, break. fact, one's peeking over there right Hi, now. Hi, Sid. Hi. Can I have ice cream, please? One scoop. I got new ice cream. What are your favorite kinds of waffles? Homemade. Yeah, <laughs> I do like a homemade waffle. Uh, strawberries on top? I, whipped cream? Uh, the problem is, I mean, if you put whipped cream and strawberries on a waffle, it's good. But also, <laughs> waffles with butter and syrup are really good as well. Uh, our kids do watch Teen Titans, yes. Yeah, they do. Should I be saying who keeps doing the comments, or is that okay? Well, if someone says something, you should say so-and-so okay, says. Okay, practical just, printing, just so they... yes, you can have ice cream too, but only oh, one scoop. That's Chris. It was his birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. He's 62. How old are you, Chris? 62? 63? Chris, are you 62 or 63? <laughs> oh, I'm a You have jerk. seven kids, Jason Burns? Ooh. Do they all go to bed at the same time? No. No. Oh, our son. He says 64. Yeah. 63 says print 3d channel I don't wow. seven kids wow yes i agree 
Uh, although, honestly, for us, oh, after okay. two, once you get three, it's just, you're zoning. There's you're not, some, it's not man on man anymore. There's some, uh, there's some there's printer action. So this looks to be, uh, the gantry. Look at that. It's the gantry. It's the gantry. Do you want that. Two? No. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Of course not. Not no, two. No, sure. Let's see. Uh, go. Ow, I hurt myself. You're not uh, supposed to be awake right now, Cameron. Why not? That's from Cameron Sim Simison. Okay. Um, it looks like this, this sticker was stuck to the... Go to camera two for a second, please. Yeah. This sticker was stuck to the foam. I don't think it's supposed to be stuck to the foam, but I'm going to save it on this filament spool. Go to camera one, please. Camera one, yes. Um, what? 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 Oh. What, what? Okay. Um, this is the bed. Ugh. What printer would you suggest for someone to have at college in a dorm room? That's An inexpensive from Truman Virago? Okay. An inexpensive and quiet one. Or a quiet one. Because dorms um, are always quiet. Uh, the, thanks, uh, Andrew Bolton, for four ninety nine dollars lire, I'm guessing. Where? Up there. Uh, that is, Euro uh, or that would be, I believe that's pounds. Yes, I know. I'm a stupid American. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, pounds. Sorry. Uh, pounds. Jason Buske. Is it thanks pounds? for $10. Oh, thank you for the $10. Is it, was it pounds? Can you say hello to my seven-year-old nephew, Atreyu? Atreyu. That Hi, is Atreyu. awesome. Awesome. Hello, Atreyu. Hi, Atreyu. Hi. I know you probably wasn't looking for a hello from me, though, but oh. I love your name. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. This is um, heavy. $4.99 pound. Fortnite, okay, so that's, I mean, that's like 17 American dollars, right? Uh, CR33P Villa said, hello, Joel, I've watched you since you scored that giant rocket misprint. Oh, yeah. That's still in the garage. Yes, it is. Along right now with a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Yawn, 6 a.m., Scotland forever. Sorry, I forgot to say hashtag. Um, <laughs> it's okay. 6 a.m. is not that early. You, you're okay. Just don't. Stay up too late the night before. So look at, uh, let's see. Let me get this out. Let's see. Come here, you. There we go. So look at this. Go ahead and go camera two. So this is the print bed for the CRX. And uh, if I remove the safety plastic, it looks to be glass, but it's got these ridges in it. It reminds me of the uh, Anycubic Ultra Base. Feel that. Feel that. So it's glass, but it has something yeah and so it's got these little bit of these little pits and i go ahead and go camera one i think what that does is it allows for more surface area for the plastic to grab onto which means things stick better and more consistently i think, I think. no i'm not a fan of all the stuff but huh. i you deal with what you got to deal with i gotta have them home Instead of him going to work, thanks to you guys. That's right. Oh, look at that. So on the back right here. Uh, here, let me borrow this. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Sorry. Oh, don't want to make you guys goodness. sick. They don't want to make oh, them sick. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead and turn that on. Camera two. Yeah. Look at that. It has uh, a built-in strain relief gauge right there. Or not gauge. Strain relief thing. Strain relief thing. It's, it looks like it's injection molded. It looks like it was that, that community one that was built. Then it looks like they, they uh, injection molded it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it does have these giant nobulars for turning the bed screws, which is nice. Uh, the whole thing looks like it's uh, sheet metal. Wow, it's big. It's big. Okay, go camera one. So the glass is textured. Dan's 3D printing. No, sorry. It moved. Rob, Robbie, uh, M-A-Q. Textured. It's... It is textured. Uh, it's got a... It has a texture, but the glass isn't textured <laughs> because it's it's something that's on the glass. The glass itself isn't textured. There's there's something on top of the glass that's creating the texture. So it's textured. Yeah. So the glass... It has a texture, but the glass isn't textured. And I can't believe that... You don't believe me. <laughs> um, Nathan Wilson, uh, Australian two dollars. Where? A two dollars. Yeah, that's an Aussie two. That's okay. An Aussie Have two. you ever tried printing any Rubik's cubes puzzles? 
No, I've never tried Rubik's Cubes. The biggest, uh, the puzzles I've really done are the, uh, the Angus Puzzle Cube right there and the Wild Rose Builds version of that Puzzle Cube. Those are my, those are my big Puzzle Cubes. Uh, okay. Jason Exford says, don't forget to plug in the ribbon cable. Can't believe Angus missed yeah. it. Hey, you know what? Angus, he's got a lot. Angus just crossed 300,000 YouTube subscribers. And I think, I think, uh, he's been a busy boy. So he, pr I mean, forgetting it, not, it's, it's okay. It's quite okay. Um, oh, okay. So it uses Cura. Okay. Cura 15046, so it uses an old version of Cura. That's interesting. And it looks like the SD card is supposed to come with configurations for slicing. Um, Lightspeed just gave $1.99 and said... Muckle Teal for life. The glass isn't flat, Angus's wasn't. Oh, wait, if the, the glass isn't flat? Do you need it? Level? Well, uh, we'll be able to find that out. So once we add the part of the printer up here and we try to level it, we'll be able to tell whether the glass is flat or not. Okay. Uh, Ian Vandergat, Jack, Jag, Jag T, uh, just gave 50 bucks. And uh, said watch that the channel and those, those ridges in the plate act as micro pry bars. So when the bed cools and contracts, it pops. Oh, that's interesting. So. What he's saying is, because um, the you know this as it heats up to a high temperature, so as it contracts, then the the uh, the parts of the plastic that are embedded into the depressions there, because this contracts just a little bit, it causes your print to come off of the plate because mm -hmm. it. That's so cool. That's so cool. And thank you for the fifty. Thank you for the fifty. We will put that to very good uh, use. Bj eighty. Uh, Gave uh, Australian five. Oh, an Aussie five. Aussie I love five. it. I need to go to Australia sometime. Okay. We should go to Australia sometime. Um, I've always wanted to. It's home of the ten deadliest insects, I think. I don't want to see them. I think you have to. Mm, I'll stay away. Okay. Oh, this is handy. Uh, what is my favorite three D print? Mine? Um, no, Mrs. Telling. Oh. Um, was it a couple years ago? You probably don't even know. Uh, my birthday card was, and it's very simple, but it was just a little square thing that said, Happy Birthday, Mickey, on it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was good. Just a little one. Was that the one in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, he printed it before we went to Hawaii on a vacation. So what Creality has done is placed pieces of foam behind the lead screws against the, uh, the the gantry, the columns, the whatever this is. So it keeps these from bending inwards during shipping. It's a good thing. Um, Sid a very good Teeling thing. Uh, said y'all should print 3D print. Y'all should 3D print a Fortnite map. <laughs> we don't do Fortnite in this a house. So. We, don't, we don't have Fortnite in the house. No. Yeah. Okay, so. one of the things, uh, the extruder assembly was uh, loose. And so, uh, for Angus, it doesn't appear to be loose for me. That's good to know. So, Meg, here's where it gets kind of sketch. Okay. Do I need to hold something? No. Okay. No. But uh, these have to attach here and here and screws have to be forced up under here to intersect with that. Oh, that's convenient. Here, let's go ahead and... Camera two? Not yet. Okay. Okay, go to camera two. So I wanna show you guys right here. The, the gantry has to go into these little, there's two little holes right there that screws have to come up through. Let's see if you can see it right, right in there. There we go, right there. And this has to sit in there. Or kind of, oh, maybe like, is it like that? Maybe it's like that, it okay. Looks like it's in like that. It looks like the clearance is amazingly small. That's, that's incredible. Okay, and then right around here. So the motors themselves have the power connectors facing inwards. You see that right there. And just to give you an idea of scale, 
that's the size of my finger. <laughs> it says so the screws won't fall out if you assemble it. Yeah, the screws won't fall out, sure. If you assemble it right side up. Yes, I can hang a side off of the... Tiny Machines 3D. Okay, go ahead and go camera one for me. Okay. Um, No, we never brought Fortnite in to our house for those who asked. I'm sure the kids will play it at some point. Or not. Well, why would... What's There's nothing wrong with Fortnite. No, but it's just one more thing that they would get addicted to. Yeah, that's true. Our kids are finally stepping aside from Minecraft for a little while. What printer do you use the most often? Skeptic 007. Skeptic. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a really good question. So, the. Uh, New sponsor, Cyber Dustin. Oh, Thank Cyber you. Dustin. Thanks, man, for the sponsorship. So, uh, the printer that I use the most often, that's a really good question. And it's going to be whatever printer is on and ready and willing to print right at this time. So, right now. The one that I use the most often happens to be the Artemis, which is right over there because it's already loaded with filament. It's got a Duet Wi-Fi and I can just send G-code to it and it'll start printing it. I don't have to swap SD cards or anything like that. That's why the Ultimaker 3 is really good because you can just send stuff to it via Wi-Fi. Um, I could put OctoPrint on one of the Prusa machines, uh, which would give me, you know, sort of that functionality. I just haven't done it yet. Um... Uh, the Matter Hacker's Pulse and the Prusa Mark III, kind of my, my go-tos there that require a little bit more effort. The Raze is Wi-Fi, but the Raze, I just, I haven't been printing on much because it's, it's just, it, it wants to be good, but it's just not quite there. There was a question if we can move the filament out of the way and move the printer over. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, Zach H., thanks for the $24.99. Ooh, $24.99, are you out of your mind? Twenty four ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? I believe that's how that goes. I will put this stuff over here. Oh, you know what? It comes with. No, it is not assembled. Three D printing kit. He just set the thing on top. Yeah, that could, could fall off at any at off. any any moment. Literally any moment. I'm gonna put the knife back in the drawer. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, okay. Would you? Make sure this doesn't fall over for me. Yeah. Um, okay. Andrew Gilmore, I, uh, I will admit that I am not always right, and he is not always wrong. Huh? Uh, he said, remember, the wife is always right, and you're always wrong. And oh. I fully admit that I, mean, I am not, and he is. I mean... I mean, I am a lot, but just not always. Hacky2447, $1.99. Thank you. $1.99, are you out of your mind? for Overwatch figures cosplay. Say that again? Uh, Hacky2449 was asking, beginning, beginner 3D printer for Overwatch figures and cosplay. Uh, uh, for Overwatch figures, you're going to want some level of detail. Um, if you're not against resin printing, you could look at the Moai from Piopoli or the uh, the. But the any cubic photon, I think, is what it is. That's like 500 bucks. The Moai is a little bit more expensive. Great resin printers that uh, don't break the bank and give you that detail you need. Other than that, what you could do is use a. Um, oh, you could use any machine, any. I mean, a point. You can get away with a point four nozzle and and just print slow. Take your time. Low layer heights, and and you could recreate the models pretty easily. I've always wanted to print. Uh, a tracer model. I would love to have a tracer model about that big. I just don't have the ability to paint it worth a darn. So maybe someday. Maybe uh, maybe Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea is the uh, Chelsea and Garrett have Chaos Cortex. Oh, so jeez. Uh, Ashley T was asking, is it just her, or is or are you the tiniest bit blurry? I think you mentioned it earlier about the camera. Oh, yeah. I'm really, really sorry. Um, the camera is the, the teeniest bit blurry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Ooh. Uh, so what's kind of cool, um, as you go ahead and uh, hit the camera two button for me. So the 
the bolts have this uh, washers on them, little little lock washers, and it's that lock washer that actually helps. Go ahead, go camera one. That helps hold it into the hole, so I can I can use this to insert it, and then it stays, which is actually kind of handy. Uh, Robbie MAQ, five dollars. Hey, thank you for the five dollars. Mr. Tiny O four, two dollars, and it's the first stream, and he's glad he got to finally make one. Oh, it's my first stream in a long time. Thank yes, you. Yes, it is. And for... um, Repcord. Ah, oh, Repcord. Sent he's gonna 999... be here. Well, he sent nine ninety nine, and it's to go towards your weekly taco allowance. No, oh, he's gonna be here. He's coming to visit Seattle, so I think. Uh... Oh, maybe we'll save that, and you guys could go together. Yeah, we go together for tacos. <laughs> Uh, Wagner's Tech Talk, five dollars. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the five dollars, dollarinos. So now this should, I assume, just tighten. Oh, look at that. Joel, are working. you going to be at Seattle Mini Maker Fair? When is it? I don't know. Oh. When is it, guys? When is Seattle Mini Maker Fair? Can somebody love, look that up? I would love to go. If I if it's at a time when I could go. Uh, oh, why are you not? Wait, do we actually live in Seattle? Uh, what? That was a question. Um, from Da Human, do we actually live in Seattle? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Seattle. Seattle. Oh wait, screw's kind of in, so it won't fall over. <laughs> uh, Cold G said, I made one stream before this. You told me how to convince his family that a printer was worth buying, and now he's the proud owner of a CR-10S. <gasps> That's fantastic! Good for you. What do you print? Or what does the family have you print? Maybe that's how you convince them. Yeah. This is the boring part of the stream where I just screw in the gantry. This would be the time that I would do drawing for bits, right? This is when you would do drawing for bits, yeah. We were joking about that earlier because um, both girls got their drawing ability not from me. And there is a running joke here about that. Uh, David definitely got his drawing ability from me. We do stick figures not so well. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that. Oh, that's a little loose. Slavis, Slavis, two dollars. Oh, Camera wow, appears that's... to have the center sharp. Boca poker. Oh, the center sharp. That's great. Okay. I would love yeah. to get a different streaming setup. Maybe if I did it more often, I could make the the case for doing that. Convince me. No, no, no. I, I just, I don't want to spend the money on hardware if I'm not going to use it. But if I'm going to use it. Well, why don't you try to do it? There's no, there's no background music, and some people like that, so I feel bad. Um, yeah, I can't sing either, so. No. Uh, artistic ability does not run in me. It's more him. Uh, Dean MacIsaac, four ninety nine. Hey, four ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? Um. I have to say that every time. He's building a 3D printer from scratch. Ooh, that is... Some people enjoy that. I am not one of those people. But for the people that do enjoy it, I... My, man, more well, power to If you had the time, you probably would. I don't know. No? I don't know if I would really... I don't know about that. If you had a week without anything to do, nothing 3D printing, what would you do? That's my question. What would I do? Yeah. Uh, if I if I would uh, log off and uh, try to enjoy the day. Maybe. Oh, does that work? Is that getting in? Get in there! Oh, I think I got it. Maybe? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Can... Didn't expect that. I really didn't. Okay. He would just be a nerd. That's from Unlikely Creators. Oh, Unlikely. That's my buddy Logan. It's warm up here. Do you want 
Make no, sense. I can't. It's too loud for the microphone. Well, what about the up, pull upstairs? Well, here, let's try. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on my my little air conditioning unit, and okay. you tell me. Yeah, tell us if it's, tell us if it's too, too loud. loud. He thinks that it's going to be. I do. Oh, it is kind of loud. Um. Okay, can you guys hear it going? It's is the that AC. too bad? Let me know if that's too bad. Because it's providing cool air to me. Not loud at all. Okay. That was okay. from uh, Kobe Hawthorne. Thanks, it's, Kobe. It's fine. It's fine. We cannot hear it. Okay. Apparently, it's it's okay. That's wonderful it news. Just, <laughs> well, you have to remember. So when we say something or do something, it takes a couple seconds for it to, to be uh, okay. broadcast. Is that in case we say something we shouldn't? No, that's just because it's that's how YouTube does. Oh, um, some people say that they can't hear it, but um, <laughs> uh, practical printing. Turn it off. More fun to see Joel sweat. <laughs> ah, ha! Ah, it's not funny. Okay. We only have so many towels. I mean, I could open a window. Cole, one ninety nine. You should make a Discord for prints and help. I do have a Discord. I just, I'm never on it. What's a Discord? It's like a message base. Okay. Oh, jeez. So there you uh, go. You can go to the message base, but he won't be there. I, apparently. I guess. Uh, so there's a ribbon cable. Could you, uh, oh, here. Let me borrow this. Okay. Mark Rhodes says these guys are just being nice. We can't hear you anymore. But he has a winky face, so. Hey, you stop. <laughs> oh. Could you go camera two, please? Um, yeah. Seattle Mini Maker Fair is August 11th and 12th. I think I saw that way back up. I'm sorry oh. if I missed it, if you guys said it before. I might be busy on the 11th. I don't know yet. Um, so if you approach the printer from this side, here's my big meaty fingers. Then the, the plug for the end stop is right there. And uh, the plug for the motor is right over there. So, uh... Yeah, I will attempt to connect those. Could you go camera one, please? Mm -hmm. I will attempt to connect those. Uh, that okay. 3D print guy, Ozzy $2. Yo, what up? What's up, team? Is oh, that hey. Mrs. Nerd? Yeah, hello. Yes, I'm Mrs. I Nerd. I want to show you something. Okay, show me something. Me uh, or them? Well, you and them. That 3D print guy. He's the one that made me the Doctor Who watch. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I go. remember you showing me that before. Go, go camera two. Go camera two. Look at that. I still have it. I still have it. It's awesome. I wear it sometimes. Go camera one. And uh, Ian Vander Jagt, uh, Joel, you do not need AC. You are always I'm cool. always cool. Uh, Vander, Vander Yacht, I think, is the correct. Oh, I, I okay. want to think, I think it's Vander Yacht, I think. Okay. But uh, he Sorry can. Sorry for those who I butcher your he names. Can, he can correct. Um, where is the server link? Mini Banana Man wants to know. Uh, the Discord server link. It might be in a video description. Oh, that helps. No, just, any of, I think any oh, of my any videos. Of them? I okay. think any of my videos is in the description. I thought you were just going to send them out on a hunt. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, oh, this is. This is difficult. Oh wait, the bed, I can move. I can move the bed out of the way. I can move the bed out of the way. Oh, okay. Uh, if somebody can find the Discord link and... I don't think people can post links. Oh, okay, then don't post the link. I think, I don't think. Um, I, mean, I mean, maybe, maybe they can. Slavis, Slavis, $2. Sounds like a fan, not loud, just background noise. Okay. That's good, because it makes a huge, huge difference as to the temperature in this room. Yeah. Huge. Um, the helicap, helicapped? Helicap, cap, cap? I mean, I'm cap. assuming it's like the helicopter captain. Is that the helicap? I see what uh, you're saying. I want to see more laser cutting videos from you. That's great, because I just installed uh, a dedicated cooler for the laser cutter. So in laser cutters, usually you have a bucket of water that you have to keep cold. And a, an aquarium pump pumps that water through the laser tube to keep it cool. And then you also have an air compressor that blows air out the nozzle to kind of keep the surface clean. Uh, I got from Full Spectrum 
uh, a little cooler. So you don't need the bucket of water. It's like a little refrigeration unit that also has the air compressor for blowing the air out the nozzle. And uh, I have an idea for what I want to do. I just need the time to do it. Dalton Fair, what's the build volume of this printer? Uh, the build volume of the CRX is on the box. Let's find out. Isn't it on the box? It's not on the box. The shipping dimensions are on the box. Is it in here? May I see this? Yeah. Um, Someone's going to find it before I do. I just know that's going to happen. And then uh, Cole says there is no Discord link in oh, the description. Not. Well, so. poop. I'm sorry. I will figure that out because there's one out there. He'll fix it. I'm sorry. If someone knows. Um, I want to say 300, 300, 400. Oh, there's a dog up here looking for you, Mommy. Captain, I'm over here. Captain. Captain, come here. Just don't let him knock over anything. Mm. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, she's. You can. You guys get to see the dog. Come here. I know. Come here. Come here. You're gonna have to hold him or something. Is he doing okay? I'm scared of all my stuff. Bring him over. People would like to see. I'm not sure if he's going to walk it. I think he's just checking us over Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. This is a heavy machine. One of the things, let's see, I'm going to position this. <laughs> She's on dog duty, so I'm a, I'm a one person show right now. I mean, I'm usually a one person show, but. So, camera two. Here we go. This piece on the printer right here, it's loose. And I believe that is the tensioner for the belt. Uh, so I, I will have to tighten that. That shouldn't be too difficult, though. Okay. Hey, look at it. Here's the doggy. This is Captain. Oh, wait, here. Let's see. There you go. Can you say hi, Captain? Look at that. Look at that. He's got he's got a brown eye and he's got a blue eye. So Captain um, was a was a rescue. He and his brothers and sisters at uh, what three months old? Uh, no, like eight weeks. Four weeks. He, oh, he was less I, than a month. He was less than a month old when the Texas floods hit, and uh, he and his brothers and sisters were found. And rescued, and we saw him in uh, a website, an yeah. app, Pet something Finder. on Petfinder, and we adopted him in Texas, and we worked out the details, and then they put him in a kennel with some food and stuff, and flew him up to us, and we went and met him at the airport and picked him up, and we had ourselves a new little doggy. What's it called with the eyes? Is it some sort of chroma? Something something chroma when you have two different colored eyes? Yes, two different color eyes. Yeah. That's what he has. Um. No, Captain is very tired. Josh uh, McEachern uh, said that he's questioning life decisions. You're, he, you're good with the names, I have to tell you. Um, I'm so proud of you. He, for coming from, the, um, from Hurricane Harvey and being in floodwaters and everything, he absolutely loves to swim. Loves the And water. will jump in without anybody else in there. <laughs> Into what? The pool? Into the pool. Yeah, we yeah. have a pool. Um, imagination to form, yes. Nothing happened to him except for he did um, arrive to us very wet. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, a scared dog put on an airplane, peas. Okay, Joel, Seattle Mini Maker Fair is August 18th and 19th, not 11th and 12th. Oh, That's okay. from Mo Lockwood. Okay, that's good to know. 3D printed pool from Dark J-Man 77? No, it's not 3D it's no. not a 3D printed pool. That's just silly. Uh, you can do something for toys in the pool. Diving toys. True. Hey, I put a benchy in the pool. You did. Interesting. So, uh, so this extruder here has a piece that's meant to stop it from going too far. This one does not. 
So it looks like um, it looks like they missed a piece over here. Uh, this is not screwed in all the way. I don't know if that's appropriate. I don't know. A uh, couple questions for you. Yeah. Well, actually, not a question. Sexy Cyborg said uh, it came together pretty easily, but she's still not thrilled um, with the lack of auto bed leveling. Who said it? Wait, where? Naomi Sexy Cyborg. Ooh. Oh, hi, Naomi. Good. Hey, I'm glad you made it. Um, you're not thrilled with the lack of auto bed. I, I kind of agree with you. So at $7.99, I think, I think this printer is in a is in a is is in an in between stage because at seven ninety nine I think that it includes a lot of really cool functionality that a printer that should be seven ninety nine includes, but at the same time it's missing some basic things like uh, like a BL touch sensor. I think I think if if the factory default with this was a BL touch auto bed leveling sensor, I think it would it would be if it performed consistently and was easy to use, it would be a killer printer. I think that I truly, truly think that, or it has the potential to be that. But um, without that auto bed leveling, I mean, there there is the big the big knobs here for for leveling the bed, but it's just one of those convenience factors that I think most people would expect from a printer that was seven hundred ninety nine dollars. That's that's my thinking. So Creal, um, Naomi is one of the she helps uh, Creality. Yeah, you showed me. She's in Shenzhen. Um, and uh, Creality open sourced the, one of their newer printers, the Ender 3. Open source means release the, the design documents and specifications. And re really, and it, it's very uncommon for a Chinese company to do that. They're actually the first Chinese exactly. company to, to ever get something the, from the OSHW uh, certified. It was really cool. Awesome. Uh, Fernando. Braga, uh, he's, I'm from Brazil and I want to buy a TiVo Tornado. What do you think? He gave $20. Wow. R. Uh, 20, we're going to. I'm gonna, Brazilian. I don't know what they're called though. I, I don't they're. know what Brazil money is, but it's denoted by an R, which yes. is fantastic. Um, I've never played with the TiVo Tornado. I know people that have it and have said it's a decent machine. Uh, I would, I, uh, <laughs> Look at, I think Devin from Make Anything has one, and I think Chuck Hellebuck has one, I think. Those would be two people whose opinions I would trust at looking at that machine. Uh, Simon over at RC Life on may have had one as well. I don't remember. I... <laughs> so apparently, apparently, I have a Tebow Tornado. If, if you want this to be the next thing I take out of the box with my wife's help, uh, just let me know. Yeah. And I can, but uh, yeah, apparently I have a Tebow Tornado. And Ansh Molhortra, I hope I said that that's, right. That's, boy, that was, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, uh, from India, loves your channel. And oh. 90 Indian money? Uh, I don't... Thank you, Ansh, uh, that's fantastic. I don't know how did what the name of your money is but thank you for 90 of them and i hope i didn't completely butcher your name we could just call them schmeckles 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 sure. okay schmeckles um practical printing five dollars said advanced warning before you get there make sure you always load filament into both sides or you will get back leakage on the cyclops style hot end yeah um that's uh that's one of the things i was really curious about because it's a single nozzle and it's got two filament pathways to it uh so it's it's similar to how the joseph prusa multi-material machine that has four you you it has to retract some filament before it can put filament back in and it has to retract that before it puts filament back in so if you you have to make sure that the printer can ascertain the position of both filaments before it prints or else it could be jammed up and like Chris over at Practical Printing says, you do have to put another one in or else you'll get leakage. Uh, hopefully you put it in far enough, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I, I'm gonna turn it on, I think. Okay. With this power cord that okay. I just I'm slung over my shoulder. I'm gonna say you do need a new, because it's really blurry. If that's what they see, you are really blurry. When you I'm step gonna... back. When you step back. Oh, when I step back, yes. Yeah. It's not perfect. 
I know. I'm... Well, then, okay. Hey, it sounds like my wife said I get new streaming equipment. If, well, yeah. I mean, if you're going to start streaming more of these. Uh, Ian Vanderyacht, uh, uh, thanks for joining us. Good night. Oh, good night. I do want to mention, uh, this printer doesn't have any protective plastic. Go oh, camera two, please. Any protective plastic on the touch screen. I have nothing to slowly peel off. Kind of sad. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, go camera one for me. Matthew Newman, $10. Thank you. What's Ooh. the best affordable resin or PLA printer for printing tabletop miniatures? Like Warhammer Detail. Oh, man. A lot of people ask about that. And you are... Uh, your, your best bet for Warhammer miniatures, I think, is to go resin printing. Because... You're looking at tiny things with a lot of detail, and resin is really the thing that's going to get you where you need to go. And for that, look at uh, the, the Anycubic Photon. Look at the Piopoli Moai. Um, if you have lots of extra dollar bills in your pocket, you can look at the Form 2. Uh, it's, it's, it, theirs, theirs is like a system. It's Cadillac. It's great. And if, it's, if you have the money and it's what you need, you can get that. Otherwise, go get the Piopoli Moai. Go look at the Anycubic uh, Photon. Uh, Angus just reviewed the Photon. There we go. Matter Hacker sells the Moai. You can go to 3d.pn forward slash Moai. Ian Douglas gave us 50 and said we should have a date night. Oh, Ian! Oh, hon, we can have a, we can have a date yeah, night. Just have to find a free night, right? We nights? actually, uh, we kind of are going out on Saturday. That's right. Yeah, my class reunion. Uh, Cyber Ice Cream gave us an Aussie 10. Aussie 10. I like that. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. Would you go camera two, please? Yeah. Here we go. Wait, let's cut. Let's do that. Ooh, lights off. And then... There we go. That is a fun noise. It's loading. Okay. Let me get you a little bit closer. Will you go camera one for a second? Okay, just like Angus's machine, it is in Chinese. Uh, I do not know Chinese. Can you go camera two, please? There we have it. Oh. Video scrap heap, $1.99 for Scooby Snack. Oh. For Captain, not for you. Video scrap heap, so kind of you. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, you can control the volume. Oh, it sounds like a... Here, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will you go camera one, please? So I have a DTMF decoder. So let's see. Uh, Robert Colbert, 20 year. I don't think I can... Oh, I thought it was a DTMF tone. Maybe it's not. No, I don't know. Okay, can you go back to camera two, please? Yep. Um, so, look, that's settings. That's... Ah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, English! Okay, look at that. Leveling, refueling, moving. Well, what? Hard to see. I don't know if you can do that a little bit or not. I can do that. That's much better. Look, did someone say it was hard to see? No, I did. Oh. Okay. Look at that. How about how about that? Is that? I'm trying. There we go. Look at that. I think I see that, right? Yeah. The sort of. The motor oil part is kind of. Motor off. Oh, see, it, motor, it looks like motor, motor oil off. right there. And I was, Language, oh. printer info, moving, refuel, leveling. Let's go to printer info. See, not focused. CRX. I agree, Joe Wolf. Hey, look at that. I was right. 300 by 300 by 400. Website, CXSW3D. Oh, wait. They probably were, they were behind dot com. Okay. Uh, can you go camera one, please? Uh-huh. Um, I'll get better cameras. I will. I promise. I told him to, so... Uh, Omni Parker, exciting for you. He gets his first. He, she. 
I think he gets his first printer delivered on Friday. Ooh. He's been watching since you unboxed the GMAX. Oh, that was a long time ago. Thanks for the $4.99, uh, too. Thank you for the $4.99. Um, um, Cyber Ice Cream to Aussie 5. High five. Aussie 5. I'm giving that to oh, you. Oh, thank you. Aussie 5. So, uh, leveling. Apparently, we're supposed to look up the Yiddish meaning of schmeckel. Richter Scale Studios sent us $10 and told us that. He spit out his water. I got it from Rick and Morty. I got it from Rick and Morty, so I don't know what it means. It's probably horrible. It's probably horrible. I'm not going to look it up. Someone else can look it up because it's probably terrible. Uh, at least I got someone to spit out their water. Um, is this a leveling card? I think I could use this as a leveling card, right? Oh, oh, hey, Disturbed Medic, thanks for the five bucks. Hey, you're, oh, you're in town, cool. I don't know if I'll be around then. I don't know, but, uh, I don't know, what? That's what it means. Oh, you're gonna hit show. It's okay. fine. You missed it. I did, I'm trying, I'm trying. It goes there too fast. Go. Apparently it's terrible what I just said, apparently. Uh, well, only in Yiddish. Okay, go ahead and go uh, camera one. Two. I'm sorry, go camera two. There we go. So, right here. Terrible. Let me bring it down. So, there we go as it auto adjusts. Uh, there's these five points that it says to click. And I think when you click one, it moves the print head to that. So, go ahead and go camera one, please. Uh, Michael Randall said, uh, sent Ozzy 50 towards the new cameras. It's okay. making weird noise. Well, thank you for that. I don't know if I said that loud enough or not. Well, you can, no, just everything should be said loud. Okay. Uh, uh, it's making a weird noise. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Ron Floyd, for the $5 for the coffee. Hey, I Ron. will put it towards hot chocolate, though. I am not thank a coffee you. drinker. Thank you. It's moving pretty well. Okay. Oh, Sid would be so proud of you. What? Sid would be so proud of you. Why? You said well and said good. Wait, I usually say it's moving well. I know, unless you're around her. Okay, hold on. I gotta get a piece of paper. I don't want to rip that up, though, so I gotta get something from over here. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, so with a 3D printer, mm -hmm. since you don't know, you have to have the nozzle so close to the bed, uh, all the way around. Yeah. So what you do is you have it about a paper, okay. a paper's uh, thickness. So then you can pass it under, and then you can adjust the this. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't know. I think that's the way, isn't it? Let's see if I go. So if I no, no, I need to go this way. Pete, welcome to the party. What? He said late to the party, but he's here. Oh, and I said well, welcome to the welcome, party. Welcome, welcome to the party. Where is that? I must have been going the wrong way. Uh, Armando Kerford, Kerf Joel, what is your favorite episode from Rick and Morty? Um, that's a good question. There's a lot of really good ones, but I really, I like the one where, um, season three, episode one. I'll say season three, episode one. Uh, oh, wow, that's... Okay, that's up there on the springs. Uh, how have you not taught me to level a bed yet? Uh, did you did you want to? No, that was one of the questions. Oh, I see. Uh, 
going by fast, I can't find it again. I don't, uh... My interests lie in different areas. How about that? Huh. Do you know everything about your spouse, significant other's huh. work? How about that? Uh, I don't... I can teach myself if she wants, or if I want. Thank you, sexy cyborg. I just don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> she she does know how to remove prints, and uh, when I was at Adobe working, I would say, can you check the print? And she would check, and she would know to take pictures from different angles and uh, make sure that things were working, and she would know how to stop the prints if they were bad, right? I removed... Uh, I fixed the... Big one in there. I don't remember what it's called. The G Max, the Rays. I think it was the Rays. Okay. When the um, filament got stuck. Oh, that's right. You did. See. What's Mrs. Nerd's hobbies? I coach softball, and I do a lot of softball stuff. <laughs> um, for a little league around here, I uh, am in charge of the softball program. Um, my one of my best friends and I started a nonprofit select team, and we are growing that uh, program. We went from one team to two teams this year, so softball, and then the kids. Looks like flying uh, junkies. Our fa says your family is cool. Yes, I agree. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, it is. So right now I'm adjusting the ex the eccentric nuts on the bed uh, because it's a little wiggly, just a little wiggly. Let's see if I can do this from the other side. Let's see if I have those talents. Uh, Marco Pallone says, "Fix the lead screws before leveling." Joel, please. Fix the lead screws. Oh. Dogs are barking. I do not coach at the high school. If you, in Washington State, I don't know if it is uh, in other states, but if you coach ah. at middle school or high school. Stop moving. You can't coach um, the same age in the same area as the kids will go to school, if that makes sense. Have you tried to get Joel to print decals on t-shirts with his 3D printers from DarkJman77? Try to do what? It says, have you tried to get Joel to print decals on t-shirts with his 3D printers? No. Nope. What's the dog's names? We have Morgan, who is 15. Um, we have Maya, who is three and a half. And we have Captain, who is seven months, eight months. Um, oldest one is deaf and blind. Um, <laughs> yes, she is. Maya is uh, just kind of stupid. She's a Rottweiler and she thinks she's a lap dog, um, like a lot of big dogs do. And Captain is a rescue. Some saw him earlier uh, from Hurricane Harvey, and he's. Uh, Captain is, I think he's partly blind too. Um, Maybe. Let's see. Uh, let's see, there's a question up here. Uh, Andrew Bolton, Joel, are you looking forward to the new Doctor Who? Who's your favorite doctor? Oh, I am very much looking forward to the new Doctor Who and my favorite doctor is Matt Smith because uh, my daughter got to ask if he could save her from the weeping angels. If, he was, say, if he was scared of the weeping angels. Could you go camera two a sec, please? Yeah. Uh -huh. So what I do to check to see if, uh, if this is level, I bring a tape measure over and I measure and I see that it's at three and a half inches over there. I know this isn't the right way to do it, but... Uh, so it's a little low there. There's probably a better way to do it. So could someone in the comments please tell me the right way to level my gantry? 
I mean, I could put a level across it. I'm joking. I'm so joking. Prometheus Gifts uh, asked how the softball name tags held up. They, um, only one of them broke, and that was actually because I think somebody was stepping on it when the person was trying to pick up her bag. No, that'll do it. And it just snapped in half. That, but that all of the others held up just fine. That'll snap, yeah. Uh, so what I could do... Uh, Fernando Braga, uh, he was down in Brazil yeah. with the R that I don't know what it stands for, but yeah. he gave another R20. Oh, R20, thank you. Yeah, R20, and asked if we that. can do a tornado, re or if you can do a tornado review. I doubt they want my review on it. Ah. Um, oh, it equals $5 oh. US. Thank you thank so much. Thank you for much. letting us know. I am a dumb American. I had no idea. What uh, Wagner's Tech Talk? What filament do you use most? Uh, it's a tie between the Matter Hackers Build Series and the uh, Protopasta HTPLA. I, I do have the High Five Blue from them. It's just I, I do kind of love it. So that should be good, right? Because it should be. People are laughing at me. I bet. So it's like it's like three and a, it's like three and a half right here. Three and a half. We'll call it good. And then, oh, dang it! And I bet people are like a tape measure measuring in inches. That's weird. Yeah. Practical printing says that um, dogs don't need eyes or ears as long as their nose works. Well, unfortunately. Our oldest one, her nose doesn't work that well anymore. You can put a treat right in front of her nose and she still won't. I mean, you kind of have to tap her on the kind nose. Of. Kind of. And yes, um, Cole G, uh, just like your friend's dog, Why ours runs into furniture and stuff all the time. But we call her the zombie dog because she's been on the verge and then come back, and on the verge, and on the come back. And she jumps up on our laps still to get food when she's in the mood. So okay. she Could is you go back to dog. camera one for me? Yep. Okay, let's see. Um, All right, that's the wrong way. Okay. JT said that uh, they saw the Weeping Angels pick on Twitter the other day. It was awesome. Yep, yeah. it does make its way around every once in a while. Well, especially when it's Comic-Con time. Mm-hmm. Which it is. Uh, G-Mancy said, jam the gantry all the way at the top. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not. Well, uh, you can. I said, uh, I'm going to see if my way worked first. So, um... I'm gonna see if my way worked. I had an idea, so I'm gonna see if it works. I know jam. Well, that's what Prusa does. He jams it all the way to the top. Um, let's see. What's going on, Sid? Is everybody asleep upstairs? Downstairs. Downstairs. Did you have your ice cream? Yes. What kind did you have? Cookies and cream is good. Hey, everybody! What's your favorite kind of ice cream? I'm curious. We like ice cream in this house, so I I gotta know. Uh, why not use a level to level the bed, says John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. That's uh, because you're not leveling with the earth. You're leveling with the printer. Uh, print 3D channel. Whoa, this is going quick, quick now. Uh, add two washer. That print 3D channel says, stop moving. He didn't say. Uh, add two washers to each leveling, leveling system at each corner to increase pressure. Ice cream time. Uh, strawberry says JT. Oh, JT. JT's cool. Eddie Anything. Moser says chocolate chip mint. Okay. Hey, Sid. Eddie Moser likes chocolate chip mint. Yay! Uh, Hacky 2447, butter pecan. See, I never got into butter pecan. Well, you don't like pecans. I guess that could do it. Yeah. Um, Peyton Randolph, cookie dough. Imagine to imagination to form. I like too many flavors. Ian Douglas, plain chocolate ice cream. Yummy. Print 3D channel. Bunny tracks. Isn't that what you had tonight? No. 
So I leveled the four corners, but then the center of the bed is now too close to the nozzle, which leads me to believe that the print bed isn't flat. That's what it leads me to believe. But I think if I adjust everything, maybe? I don't know, it's just not, it's not a good thing. Okay, so if I go. It's almost past my bedtime. Um, there was one somewhere in here. I've lost it now, so I'm sorry. I can't say who it's from, but it was it was Butterfinger in capitals, and it just reminded me oh. of me. I like Butterfinger uh, blizzards. Now uh, I have to refuel it. Which uh, could you go to camera two, please? Mm -hmm. So in the refuel menu, you have. Uh, a withdrawal and a wow. Why is it doing that? Stop that! It's bright. It's. I know it's bright. I, I don't well, mean. Let's get that and then... No, it's 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 because it's. There we go. I told you it's from the light. It's not from the light. It's from the light. Oh, it's from the light. Okay, here. There we go. So. Okay, these Logitech cameras suck. Maybe this will help. Oh wait, see, it works. There. So it's got extruder one, extruder two, withdraw, and feed. It's but I think you have to... What? It's trying to focus. It's trying to. Go ahead and go camera one. Camera one. Uh, let's go back. And then temp. And then... Oh, automatic. Let's just automatic PLA. And what's kind of interesting when you're preheating, because there's two extruders, there's only one nozzle. So you're just preheating a single nozzle. Oh, I gotta. I forgot to put the spool holder on the top. This is Angus's favorite thing: spool holders on the top of printers. He loves it. Why? What? Why? No, I was joking. He doesn't oh. really love it. Okay. No. no. Because if you have weight at the top, it could technically cause Holy. that to to bend and contort and not be very nice. That makes sense. Do you have to use it? I don't. Uh, no, no, I don't have to. No. He actually has a uh, contest going to have them design something that hangs on the wooden shelves over there. That's right. They have to design it and send him stuff. Stuff, is that what they're sending me? Stuff? Yes, stuff. Stuff. Not actual, the, not the actual print, but how to print it, right? Uh, the model. The model. Yeah, the 3D model. They do, they do have to send the, that stuff. Okay, I gotta go back to reading now. Okay, go back to reading. I have to stand on a stool. <laughs> this printer's loud. That's okay. Uh, U.S. Water Rockets likes PLA ice cream. Ooh. Also, sweet name, yo. Uh, Callum Gilchrist. Gilchrist, uh, I'm saving up to get my first 3D printer and plan on getting a TiVo tarantula. Would you advise getting bed leveling or is it not worth it? Uh, any, any sort of, um, anything that can, that can aid the printer in automatically leveling the bed or knowing if the bed is level, I think is very, very valuable. That's my, my take on it. I'm not sure what I just did, but I just... What's that? I just hit the down arrow and it went... I think did I... Did it go crazy pants? It did. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I apparently had not been scrolling for a while. Oh, yeah, you should... Uh... I thought I did. Or I thought I was. But I think I was reading. Oh, it's good to read, though. Oh, that was up high. Uh, I gotta use this hardware to do the second one. And then um, I'll be able to feed the printer. All printers want to do, they just want to eat. Bed got up to 45 pretty quick, and it got, the nozzle got up to 195 pretty quick, so that's good. That's good. Uh, do you know Joel? Angus is in the chat. Hi, Angus! Is he? Apparently, well, Where? Angel N said, no, sorry, Skeptic007 said, does Joel know Angus is in the chat? Uh, Joel just found out Angus is in the chat. 
Oh, there he is, making the news. Huh. Uh, he said I did the proper ones eventually, but my print was horrible. Z layer accuracy. Ooh. I don't know if that's his first comment or not. I'm still trying to get back down to the bottom. Well, um, uh, YouTube doesn't make it easy to read comments. YouTube doesn't make anything easy. Nine DHP uh, gave four ninety nine and said, "Use two identical objects, Red Bull cans, on top, both sides of the gantry, and run the Z up till both sides skip steps." That's uh, K nine. That's Robert. Okay, K nine. That's uh, Robert and Amanda. Robert. Oh, hi. Merch minion. Robert. Okay. Hi, Robert. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back on. I think I'm back. Ah, Hello, there light. There we go. I'm gonna put right over here. I feel so tall. Well, aren't you glad I brought the stool for me? I am. Uh, let's see. Oh. Hey, Sid, will you grab those blue nips right over there? Sid's asleep on the floor. It doesn't take her long. Yeah. Luckily, I've got nips in here. That doesn't make sense with the... What? Luckily, Sid's on the floor. Luckily, I've... Luckily, I have nips over it because I have those... those oh, okay, got flush it. cut nippers. I am which country you belong. Which country do I belong? I'm assuming that's from Parvez Shad Shadhari. I'm I'm not sure if they're, if he's talking to you or if it's to Angus though. Oh, okay. Since Angus is in the chat. Oh. We are in the U.S. Yeah, we are. Uh, just a heads up. This is from Angus. Just a heads up. The demo file takes forever. After eight hours, it was, oh my gosh, uh, 50 millimeters high, and I decided to kill it. <laughs> and that went really fast. Okay. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting the filament in. Let's, uh, let's, see, let's do that, and let's do that, and then let's do that, and then let's do that. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Angus's uh, nozzle was used for testing. Mine doesn't show signs of usage. But it, I, I can't. <laughs> Filament won't go in. It's, it's blocked. Angel N said, "What was your first printer?" Mine was a Flash Forge Creator Pro. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay. Uh, a little tough to feed the filaments through. Oh, and that... That's a crazy bend that's going through. Matter Hackers is up late. They just said, hey, Joel and Mickey. Oh, it must be Dave. <laughs> Hi, Dave! <laughs> um... Angus said, "Make sure you don't feed it all the way to the hot, into the hot end." I did not. I fed it to the top. Only of, up to the top of the Y connector. That's the top of the Y. That's what I did. Look at that. Man, people are writing quick. It's, it's like Angus. It's like it's like Angus knows me, or I know Angus. It's like it's like we know each other. David Carmichael, thank you for the buck ninety nine. Buck ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? You need a new song. What? You need a new song. I do. Why yes. are you a new song? Because you're saying that with everything. Okay. It's, it's like softball cheers. you got to rotate them. Okay. Angus says, I know the pain that awaits with this machine. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I don't... Eddie Moser, no. I did not expect to be here after the first printer. This is, uh, this uh, is Buddy bro, I need to, excuse me, I need to keep watching, but I also need to sleep. What does he do? Hey, I'm almost to the point where I can start, I think. Uh, the, the problem, uh, here, can you go camera two? Wait, 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 okay, go camera two, please. So right there, this is, um, this is metal. 
this is metal. And with the spool holder at the top and the... <laughs> they're set asleep. <laughs> Did you just show her? Well, yeah, see? She's just kind of yeah. passed out on the floor. Uh, the problem is, as the filament comes down, it's at this almost... It's having to take this sharp angle. And because this is metal, it's, it's actually going to scrape at the filament as it gets fed in through here. And then right in there, it's another metal piece it was really hard to get it through here for some reason uh i just i fear that go and go camera one please i just fear that it's uh it's a recipe for disaster possible disaster a recipe for possible disaster i think is what i think it's the right way to say it uh fernando braga sent another ten dollar brazil thank you for the the ten brazil um go back the other way um. Is it this one? Is it this one? Okay. Okay. Uh, Mo Lockwood is, is asking if you divide up, if you go to Mini Maker Fair, will you please say what day and at what time? Yes, absolutely. If I do make it to Seattle Mini Maker Fair. JMM subbed and liked. You know, I've got... Uh, I'm going to... So give me camera two for a second, please. Okay. You just so, got another sub. Oh, thank you for the sub. So if you look right there on the Bowden tubes, they've got these black markings on them. And... Uh, my guess is that's where I'm supposed to feed the filament to. Go ahead and go camera one. So I'm going to do that. I just noticed that. Um, oh, hey, David. so difficult. Hi, David. So... Oh, that's right. So... Um, Angus said his didn't have black markings. Okay. And gave us that face. Okay. Well, I, you know, Angus, it could be that the black markings mean nothing. Ooh, and it comes with an 8 gig knee tack. Uh, go camera two, please. So if you look, uh, there's the USB port and there's the micro SD card slot. And Angus said this on his stream. I agree with Angus. Printers that take micro SD cards, I don't. I don't like that, because uh, I could just slide that into the machine somehow. But I'm gonna try not to. Let's see, and it, and it goes upside down too, okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, go ahead and go camera one, please. There we go, we're in. In like Flynn, and uh, let's see, SD card? SD card? Let's see, Angus had the problem with the SD card in that it couldn't recognize things uh, things that were in, in folders. So, I'm out of USB ports. Okay, I have to go to the computer in here. You're gonna have to talk to them for a second. Okay, uh, I'm gonna talk to you. You can ask me one question, which I know is go whoosh, but I'll pick one. Uh, how was your day been? My day was good. I uh, went and helped with the state tournament for softball. Again, softball. Um, and watched the kids swim. Did some laundry. Um, that's it. it does sound like an old touch tone phone. Like, do 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 do. Um, if I could have any breed of dog, what would it be? It'd be a rescue. I don't, I don't particularly like um, purebreds unless they were at the rescue. I don't, I don't, I just that's not my thing. Ah, um, uh, real quick. So, um, what Ingus experienced yesterday in his stream was that the G code on the file wasn't visible by the printer because it was in a directory, 
Uh, I had the same thing. I just checked the file was in a directory. I took it out of the directory and could you go camera two, please? And there it is. Click it. And I'm gonna hit print. And then we'll see what happens. Uh, what is the price of this? There's been a couple questions. Uh, go ahead and I'll go ahead and go to camera one. Okay. So uh, price of this, I believe, is seven ninety nine US. I think that, um, as I was saying earlier, I think it's an interesting price because I think this printer is positioned kind of in the middle. Uh, seven ninety nine gets you some great features with this printer, so it gets you a decent build volume. It gets you a touch screen. Uh, it does get you dual extrusion. It gets you via a single nozzle. Uh, it is missing though some things like the ability for the firmware to look at files in the directory that the factory put the G code in. It's also missing any sort of bed leveling sensor, whether it be um, uh, an inductive probe, whether it be a BL touch, something like that. I think uh, I think I think it needs that probe. I think I think to be a contender, I think to be, something that Creality could put up against other machines in this price category. I think it needs that bed leveling solution. Oh, can you go camera two, please? It looks like it's it's moving. It's gonna it's gonna poop out filament. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Struder one here is just spitting some filament out. It's thinking about it. Uh, it's thinking. Nothing's coming out. It's going in a square. There we go. There's some stuff. Dot line. Uh, it's way too high. I just, but I just leveled it. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's see. It's almost like I can hear Angus laughing right now. No, it's okay. We gotta stop that. Stop. Uh, Angus said, "Yeah, that preset first extrusion is silly. It wasn't far enough forward." Omg, same problem. That was all from Angus. Huh. Okay. There we go. A little bit of poop. Uh, it it looks like it can extrude. It's just not close enough. Uh, so let's. Let's get the paper, let's go to leveling, and let's go right in the middle. Rep go ahead, go, go camera one, please. Okay, Repcord asks, how does the responsiveness of the touchpad feel? Uh, this touchpad is really good. It's a good touchpad, it's very, very good. <laughs> Uh, compared to other printers that I've used that have touch screens, this is this is quite a good one. Uh, the problem though, you run with bed leveling on this thing because it has four bed leveling screws. You're it's you're not leveling a plane essentially, and uh, if something is now not not level in the middle for the bed, which screw do you turn in order to make it level? I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay, so the paper slides. So I need to uh, put everything up. Wah. Wah. Um, and then wah. And then wah. <laughs> oh. So Angus asked Sexy Cyborg if they're if you're test if you guys were actually if they were testing it on you and not in production yet and she said yeah <laughs> oh Naomi is uh, that engine in 3rd is what that engine nerd there we go sure is the touch screen readily accessible if the bed is fully forward uh, let's find out real quick. Uh, let's see. That's a good question. It's easily so if I'm coming at it from an angle. Two. Sure. Nope. Uh, yeah. So it's right there. So it's 
it's still easily visible and I can still reach things. So I can do that and I can do that. On the side so they can see the side angle of that. Of what? So coming this direction. Oh, sure. So they can see. Okay. There we like go. That. So it's not perfect. Go ahead and go camera one. It's not perfect, but it's accessible. Ooh, since I killed the print, it doesn't reset itself. So, I, is it up to temperature? Um, it is not. There we go. Okay. Uh, since, so here's what I'm worried about, Mick. Because I had to put the filament there and it knew to feed it in, mm -hmm. since I killed the print, this filament is now all the way down at the nozzle. So it's going to think it's here and it's going to try to feed it and it's going to go click, 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 and it's, or it's going to spit a out a bunch. bull bunch. So do I leave it and let it try or do I pull it back and reset? Try. Okay. It may figure out that it's down there. No, it won't. Okay. No, it, it won't figure it out. It's just... Uh, what will happen is the extruder will try to push it out. It's pushing really fast, so the extruder would click because it doesn't have the um, the torque to turn okay. that. Um, it will poop out some filament wherever it, it is. Uh, what are they saying? Leave it. Yeah, That's leave it. Chris see? Hansen. Um, Imagination to form says no, it won't. <laughs> hey, ask him what's better. Okay, is this is this better? Or is that better? Oh, that looks kind of better, doesn't it? That looks kind of better. Maurice Barber, thanks for the 11 bucks. $11? Yes. That's fantastic. He took a CRX to the knee. Hmm? I used to print three... Did you, did you change the... Oh, that's funny. So, uh, that's a... That's a video game reference. Okay. I used to do something and took an arrow to the knee. Go ahead and go camera two, please. Okay. See there? There, it's pooping out filament. Yay! It pooped it out. It figured it out. I told you it would. Yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> the problem, though... Um, is if it's on the second okay so that's interesting if it's on the second extruder and it's programmed to prime the first extruder and it's in a combine a, a, a combination combinator combiner a, a y valve this thing if it's on this thing right here then it's going to ram it it's sticking to the bed oh if this if if this had bed leveling, it would be so much better. Oh man. Oh man, if this if this had a BL touch and just poked around the bed a bit, it would be so different. It would be such a different experience. Um, Martin Bryce says, is it the camera angle or is the Z axis completely crooked? Uh it's the camera angle. Camera angle? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know, let's see. Whoa. It's on a little tripod flexi thing. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh. Oh, well, you can read that out loud. Brandon Smith, would you consider coming up to Everett to check out the printer my class is building? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You can always send me an email and I can, I can, we can talk about it uh, over email. Bam. Looks like it's too close to the bed. Of course it's too close to the bed. Do you have to turn back? No. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to touch it. I mean, I'm going to touch it. this. I'm going to touch this, and I'm going to just woo, bring it across. Okay. Oh, if it... Uh, R. Solon says, adjust the bed on the fly. Maybe? No, I don't want to adjust the bed on the fly. Oof. 
What's printing? Uh, it's a test. Game critic asked that. Um, so if you if you saw the the Maker's Muse um, stream, that or any of his tweets, or possibly the 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 Patriot lens, I don't know, whatever all that stuff went on. Um, it would be it would be like this little test print. It's like a it's like a uh, an X in the middle or a, a plus in the middle. Where the sides of the boxes are uh, one color, and then the the plus in the middle is a different color. D. Millen asked, "Is the bed heated?" Yes, the bed is heated, and it's heated to sixty degrees. In fact, can you go camera one for a sec, please. And Angus says uh, it just prints across forever. Yeah, forever. That's great. So I've got one of these little. Oh, things. Let's see if the so this is in Celsius. So the bed in the corner is 56.7 C. The bed in this corner is 56.9 C. The bed in this corner 56. The bed in this corner 54.5. Bed in the center. Bed in the center is 52, 53. Okay, so it's a little uneven with heat across the bed. I'll go ahead and switch back. Um, I will be back in the Oh. Talking kids. Okay. There we go. So it's do. Uh, oh well, here I'll go back here. So uh, Mickey had to run to tuck in the kids for for Betty by because it's oh it's eleven thirty. Go back here. There we go. Um. So now it's doing the prime tower. Be cool if it was the Amazon Prime Tower. Uh, let's see. I need to bring it down a bit. So down would be. Uh, ouch! This. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Hey. All right. Well, I'll mix tucking in. I'm over here. Let's see. Cold G. 3D printing nerd. Would you rather have this or a pallet? Uh, a palette right now. Um, Darth Gaming 3D printer makers me what filament would be strongest, the best for battle bot chassis. Ooh, that's a good question. I think Angus is gonna have to tackle that one because uh, he's probably had experience with different filaments, or more so than I've had as far as um, uh, the 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 ones that could take a beating. But. Um, God, any sort of uh, carbon fiber, like a carbon fiber nylon, I think would do it. I mean, you could always go with like Peaks <laughs> or, or CF Peak. That'd be crazy. Uh, PC Max is sexy, but super expensive. That's for true. Uh, Josh Mac Eckern. Um, whoa, you are scrolling. Uh, let's see. More Palette Plus videos tests. Yes, for sure. Palette Plus is definitely going to make another appearance on the channel for sure. Uh, do you think the M3D Crane Quad will compete against this well? Uh, no, I don't. I don't, uh... I d well, okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a lot of confidence in M3D. Let's see. Hey, from, uh, Parvej, thanks for motivating me. I buy GTEC Rostock 301, but it's not working properly. Please make video on it. There's no detailed video on the YouTube. Oh, that's a... That's a toughie. I do not own a GTAC Rostock. You're gonna have to look in Facebook communities or forums online or something like that. Tony Giovino, we use Matter Control at my school. That's great. Uh, Matter Control 2.0 is pretty cool. And if you look at it on the PC, I think it's the only option for it right now in the beta, uh, you get to do, uh, you have object prim primitives for like Tinkercad style design. Alex Bolderov, hey buddy, how you doing man? Skeptic007, does the i3 Mark III have an extrusion issue? Uh, yes and no. So in the Prusa newsletter that came out today, Prusa says that all printers have this. Um, while it's sort of true, I think that there are there there is an extrusion issue with the Mark III that makes it a little bit more visible. I'm still doing my own tests, uh, and I, I do have to come to a conclusion at some point. Uh, 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 uh. 
Let's see. Practical printing. Oh, these are people talking. Okay. Uh, people are talking to Naomi. Uh, Marcin, good morning to Poland. What's the best school 3D, ro a robotics 3D printer? That's a good question. Oh, here we go. Let's get you a little bit closer. So. Looks like it's doing the second layer of the cross in the middle. Camera one for a sec. Here, let me set this up. Hey, everybody. My wife will probably be back unless one of the kids is asking for her. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get this so it's it's good. Let's see. How's this look? There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, well, here I'll answer a few questions while we're at it. Uh, Tamilan, do you think it can print flexible or other difficult materials? Ah, that's a really good question. I don't really have any experience with these uh, Y Y valve or the the, the Y type uh, dual extrusion printers. I know. Oh, excuse me. I know the Simi CNC Rostock or the Artemis can do the Y valve, or the Y, uh, the the Y for the filament. Um, I don't have any experience with those. Someone else might be able to answer that question a little bit better than I do. Uh, I don't have a lot of flexible printing uh, experience. My, I, I wanted to print flexible, so I just used the Morse extruder on the Lulzbot because it just spits out this, this pasta-shaped bead of plastic. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to go through here. Let's see. Hey, can you please answer this question for me? I'd really like to know, what is your favorite Poundy printer under bucks? Poundy printer under bucks? I'm going to assume you meant 3D printer, but because you were holding shift down in your caps lock flurry, you ha you did shift three for pound, which is my favorite of the shift threes. And I think that that's funny, uh, but under bucks, that's probably the best. What is the best 3D printer under bucks? Hey, audience, people watching, do you know what the best printer under, under bucks is? Under bucks, under bucks. Um, Give me a price range and I might be able to recommend something for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tony Giovino, make a AR-15. No. Uh, buddy guy, say I were to buy a printer, how much would it cost for everything else to get started? Software or whatever else. Guesstimate. Well, uh, you're looking at the price of a printer and you're looking at filament. Uh, price of the printer is whatever. We'll call it X. Price of filament uh, it depends on how much you buy it once, but it's it's a reoccurring expense. We'll call that Y. And uh, software, uh, I mean, there are paid versions of softwares, but if you just want to download some things or design some things and print some things, you can use Cura, you can use uh, Slicer, Kiss Slicer, you can use Fusion 3D, Fusion 360, you can use Tinkercad, Matter Control, you can use uh, uh, another free one. On shape, I think, but it's public. It's uh, it's free if it's public. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, there you go. So price of the printer. Ooh, excuse me. Plus plus uh, any filament you may want to buy. There we go. Jonathan, what modeling software do you recommend? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what, whatever you get your hands on and can use and can learn. Uh, I started off with OpenSCAD because I just, I, I guess, I guess I was a different person back then. Uh, there's no, there's no, no reason you couldn't start with Tinkercad or the, or the, or the, or Morphe or Matter Control 2.0. Uh, you can easily move yourself into Fusion 360. A lot of people do that. Look up Lars CADCAM on the YouTube. That guy puts out some of the, the, the the best Fusion 360 tutorials. Boy, I got a so many messages. Oh yeah, you're back. Yeah. Two okay. sleep ones. We'll go there. So it's printing. Mitchell Foltz, five dollars. High five. Oh, high five from who? 
Mitchell. From Mitchell. Bolts. Wait, go back, camera one. Ha! High five. Okay, camera two. There we go. That's good. That's. Ooh. What did I miss? Anything amazing? No, nothing earth shattering. It went to red. It did? Fun. Yeah. It did? Um, and that's good? Hmm. Candy Man played MC. You never finished answering the question. What's the best school robotics 3D printer? Oh. Uh, I don't... Uh, go ahead and go camera one. So, for a school robotics 3D printer, you just want to get a machine that fits within the school's budget and can print the materials you want to use when making your combat robot. What, was it a combat robot or was it just robotics? Uh, now i got to find it again. I'm going to assume by robotics you meant combat robotics because those are the best. And whatever materials you want to print... For that, you just have to make sure your printer can print that. I mean, you can always get yourself a Prusa Mark III, Mark 2.5, whatever. That's going to print most of the stuff you need. Uh, if you want to go crazy and print like Peak and Ultim, you can get a Funmat HT from Intamsis for 5K. Uh, CR10 Mini, I know, is a, is, a, is a decent machine. Chuck Hellebuck really likes that one. If you just want to do some PLAs. Although... Ooh. I think he does, um, he might do some ABS. If Angus is still in the chat, he might be able to tell you. Okay, go back to camera two, please. I think you need a camera switch remote control. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, I have a remote control. Her name is Mickey. Uh, Although I could keep the stream deck, like, right here, and I could just do my switches. You could. Okay, camera three. Looks like it's doing the last of the that layer of the box, and then it'll switch over to red. Uh, let's see if I can get this. I'm gonna try to get this closer so you can see. But uh, right there, you can see maybe it pulls the red filament back to that black mark. I know that's not easily visible, but it did. It pulled that that black mark is on the other. Uh, PTFE tube and it pulls it back to there. So it looks like that's the rest stage of the there we go. Of the of the, the filament. Oh now it's doing the last of the boxes. How are we doing? Good. Um Trying to catch up a little bit. Oh. Um, there it is. Um, oh, it's gonna do the it's gonna do the switchy now. Shane Beasley asked if you were inundated with spool holders yet. Uh, there's been over a hundred and fifty designs uploaded to my mini factory. Makerspace uh, dot online asked, Ooh. is there a purge block? There is, and it's actually working on the purge block right now. Let's see if I can... There we go. You kind of see it back there. Working away. Hey, Angus, sorry, uh, can you go to camera one? Yeah. Okay. Nah, there we go. Uh, yeah, Angus did this print yesterday. And then he killed it because it was taking too long. Um, yeah, it's going to actually start laying down. Go ahead and go camera two for a sec. So, the second layer or third layer, it's doing a really good job. There's no under... I mean, it's it's a nice, perfect layer. And it's going to move over. Ooh, now it's doing the red. What webcam is on the Gorilla Tripod? tripod. It is a Logitech C920. Uh, 
Wow. Doing pretty good. Go ahead and go camera one, please. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like it's printing. It is, uh, it's it's 10 to midnight here, and two of three are asleep, is that right? Uh, one was trying to stay up drawing to guess who that oh, was. Was that Riley? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Riley, okay. She is the night owl. Okay. Um, uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to call it good. Uh, oh, you know what? Can you go, let's see, can you go camera, let's see. You go camera, camera two. Look at that. So remember when I told you that it was uh, metal? Those were made of metal and it was gonna get in the way of the filament. So those uh, those metal, that metal arm there that causes the, uh, the idler bearing to go against the filament, that's scraping it. That's scraping the filament. That's not good. Go ahead and go camera one, please. That's not good. Uh, Amy, big long last name that I, I don't want to try to butcher. Duong uh, Fa Chan. Yeah, five dollars for ice Ooh, cream. Oh, five dollars for ice cream. Thank you. I love Thank ice you. cream. Yes. Love it. Um, so it looks like it's going. I'm gonna let this print complete, and I will update Twitter in the morning with pictures of it. Uh, I'm at Joel Telling, pretty easy to get to. So it looks like it's a decent machine as far as assembly goes. Um, it wasn't too hard to get the screws in. Uh, they didn't fall through. I was able to do that. This was loose, I tightened it. Uh, the metal for the uh, the filament or the extruder, these uh, these arms, where the filament goes through, it's, it's scraping the filament. I mean, Actually, there we go. So go ahead and go to the camera two. So pause. switching colors. No, yes it is. But these little bits right here, these are what I just pulled off of the the filament over there. This is what was scraped off. Go ahead and go camera one. Anyway, you got a good look at it. Uh, I think that this printer, just just with my experience so far tonight. I think that this printer is is great as far as the evolution of, of Creality 3D and what they're able to produce. I think that encasing the bottom with this sheet metal and having what appears to be a really high quality touch screen are great choices. I think that uh, the frame is rigid. I think that, uh, I think this has a chance at being a killer machine. I think there's just a few things they could do that would, that would just, cement its place that would really cause it to be just one of the machines that everybody could recommend but uh with the way that the filament mixing goes uh the way that you have to level the bed and uh there's there's not enough automatic bits on it i think where it could be a recommend for everyone uh someone who is familiar with printers maybe this is a good second or third machine uh, I'll still print with it. I'll give it a try. I am going to print that uh, that Matter Hackers astronaut, though. I'm going to do it. I'm going to totally do it. But I need to make sure this, this prints through first. People um, are asking if it's loud. What would you compare it to? Um, I mean, I know that I would hear it here, downstairs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got a, a noise meter here. So let's see, I, I'm standing here, and it's at, um, fifty-six decibels from, what is that, is that two feet? Um, an arm's width, three feet maybe? So here, how about this? Two and a half feet. So I'll stand essentially the same distance away, so how about there? So now when I talk, so when I'm talking, it puts my voice at 80 decibels. So I, I hope that's a metric you can use. Look at that came in handy. I'm glad I bought that at some point. Uh, hey, you know what? You know what? Thanks for helping. Yeah. Big thanks to my wife for helping out with the chat and with the, the fun and the questions and the assembly and just being along for the ride. If you want her back, 
if you want her to uh, help out in the next one, let uh, let her know in the comments. Because she reads them. She reads those comments. Uh, how did you think this went? Did this go okay? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I can't really compare it to the last one since no. this is the first, but I don't know. Do you like having a little stream deck there to switch camera angles? I do. That's pretty handy instead it, of having to poke control. things. It is your control. Uh, a couple more. Um, pedestrian, uh, congratulations getting it recalibrated. His Flash Forge Creator Pro. Oh, hey, your 2000, oh, your 2016 one, though. That's, yeah. uh... Thanks for the Aussie 5, too. Uh, Aussie 5. Uh, I had an earlier Flash Forge Creator Pro. In fact, it's still under the pinball machine, I think. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna call it good for now. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for the massive amounts of support. Whether it was, whether it was interacting or asking questions or donating or subscribing or sponsoring or whatever, all of that was fantastic. Wasn't that great? It was. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very very much. Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. <laughs> As always. High five. High five. What's it called? High five. Well, high five. Bye. Bye. And then I'll and I'll go over here, and then I do stuff. I think I go over here, and then I go here, and then I think I go. Wait, 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 wait.